Today I want to do a different video on liminal spaces. I'm kind of a big nerd, a big geek for liminal spaces. I love the backrooms and I love what Kane Pixels has done with the backrooms. And I can't wait for the backrooms movie that's going to be coming out from A24. One of my favorite things obviously is liminal spaces is that it's such a mystery and a place that just makes you feel like you're very familiar with where you're at, but it's just small and dense and it just kind of like exists outside of the timeline. One of the examples is I'm actually right here behind the portal to the gate of the setting sun dungeon in Missa Pandaria. And there's something so creepy and eerie about this place. Like it just, it makes you feel like the hallway back here, looking into a dark and mysterious corridor that you should be going further into the door, but it just ends. And the space is small. It's very, just very, I don't know, roomy, but there's something about it that just really sticks out to me and makes me feel uneasy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love liminal spaces, but this is definitely one of my favorite places to be in the game. You know, I've never seen a lot of videos on liminal spaces yet. And so today I want to take you on my top five favorite liminal spaces in World of Warcraft. And this is number five. One of my other favorite liminal spaces in the game is actually Grim Batoll. And uh, I love behind the portal. I love what Blizzard has actually done with the scenery that they have set up behind it. It just looks so realistic and really just captures that ambience feeling of the dragons they were holding in here. And how I love the old, you know, the Dorvern, the uh, Dorf clan that was in here. And it just, it was really cool. I think it has some really dark history behind it, but I think it, it's just the scenery, I think they did a really good job. I actually got inside of this place and it wasn't easy to get in here. Uh, actually, credit goes to Hero. He was actually way up. He found a way to get in. And uh, it was just, it was awesome to fly in here and to check things out. One of the, um, one of the things that I love about this is you can see like the decorations on the wall are just awesome. And they made it really look like the dungeon itself with the entrance and just from the, um, the hammer icons to the uh, the hanging dragon wings you can see i don't know this place is just really cool it's like a batman layer type place um and you can see me kind of clipping through the wall a little bit there but yeah this place is awesome i highly recommend that you check this place out and it was cool hey guys so one of my other favorite liminal spaces in world of warcraft is actually magtherian's lair in the burning crusade the the raid that you fight in the hellfire ramparts area in the hellfire citadel and the uh, hellfire peninsula but getting down here is a little difficult <laughs> takes a little bit of oob trickery uh but uh yeah that's just definitely one of my one of this is one of my favorite spaces in the game i mean it's just it's just creepy all along i mean you have the entrance to the raid right here but once you go behind the portal i mean pretty much it's very detailed it's like a dungeon slash like torture chamber that it looks like and it's just creepy like back stuff you'd find in like the medieval times of like this bloody table over here and the spikes and chains hanging down and they just really made this place like I don't know really awesome for being an older expansion and if you guys ever get a chance to come back here i would definitely recommend you do i like i said it's not easy to get back here but uh it is really worth it if you love liminal spaces and you um enjoy them a lot so i'm gonna stop talking just let you guys enjoy the ambient vibe of this place for just a second
one of my all-time favorite liminal spaces in world of warcraft to this day is got to be the deep run tram and i don't mean the regular deep run tram i mean the actual deep run tram behind the portal in stormwind um so coming to this place is very difficult to get here because um well not super difficult if you know the path but it can be difficult if you don't know the flight path in here and uh, you can actually hit the loading trigger for the portal but uh this is one of my all-time favorite liminal spaces i mean this place is just awesome you got the uh the rail the, the rail here that holds the uh, deep run tram cart you got the track on the ground here which you can actually walk on um you just got these like gray dark spaces on each side of the room here that's supposed to go out into the void or to the nothing and if you actually go over here you can actually look out and see stormwind uh and get a glimpse of what it looks like underneath so if you guys have never actually been back here um i will make a tutorial on it and uh you can actually see it in the patreon page um by the way speaking of if you haven't noticed yet or have heard i actually have a patreon page now and um, i'm going to be posting tricks and tips and exploits and wow hacks i guess you could say uh and how to become a oob expert in there so this is actually going to be one of my tutorials on how to get back here and um it's it's just a lot of fun so if you've never been back here i definitely highly recommend you do um you can get back up just like that and uh it's pretty awesome but definitely one of my all-time favorite uh liminal spaces to come to it's just and it's kind of eerie because the storm when music stops back here so the game doesn't actually recognize you are anywhere which is kind of crazy in itself but uh yeah this is uh one of my favorite liminal spaces in the game for sure my last favorite place on the list and my all-time favorite is the entrance to the scrapped raid the abyssal maw this was a raid that was designed and supposed to be inside a cataclysm blizzard had actually uh, built the raid and then ended up scrapping the project altogether i don't remember if they just didn't have time or it just it i don't remember what exactly happened but What's kind of creepy is that um, I'm actually inside the entrance itself. And if you actually go over here, you can see and look inside, but there's like a wall blocking you. I was able to get through the wall and get inside here. Um, it's just a very like eerie, creepy place, uh, but I love it because it's it's just I don't know. It just kind of gives me the, you know, the heebie jeebies like the the creeps because it's just it's a place that was supposed to be used and going inside of here should have brought you to the abyssal Maw raid but um you know the abyssal Maw raid is no longer here obviously and it just doesn't even exist so it's kind of crazy to think about that we're inside of the actual portal of the raid and if you zoom in here you can kind of get a look at what the raid entrance would have looked like um but uh man it just kind of gives me chills because uh just seeing this type of stuff is really awesome maybe blizzard will bring back scrap content in the future one day who knows like a world of warcraft remix <laughs> uh i don't know but uh yeah this is also probably my favorite liminal space in all of world of warcraft just because of how daunting and creepy this place can be but just the memories of um actually my favorite expansion cataclysm and i love the zone bashir so this whole vibe just down here is just awesome so It's just like a never-ending portal of the void that just goes to nowhere. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this liminal space video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. I would love to make more of this. I love getting by in the portals and checking things out. It's just a lot of fun to see liminal spaces in World of Warcraft. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting the ATN channel so far. Uh, if you haven't yet, definitely check out the Patreon page. There's going to be a lot of cool content coming in there. I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss out. And I just want to thank everybody who's been um, coming and watching the videos and commenting and all the ATN Discord. And it's just awesome. So 
Um, as always, guys, my name is Nathan, and uh, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.